We have already learned how we can list system processes and show their output on the command line. Now on this video we will look at how we can kill different processes that consumes too much memory or too much CPU power and how we can list the highest demanding processes on our FortiGate. To get more easy setup tips for your FortiGate firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. So you're using a high level encryption in your VPN, you're using IPS to scan different patterns and anomalies, you're using antivirus and you keep logging of just about anything. Well. All of that consumes lots and lots of CPU resources and memory. Let's take a look at the DAG system command. Let's make an interval of 20 and with 10 processes. All right, now using the M character, you just need to type the M character. We can sort out the processes that consumes the highest memory and in our case it is the DNS proxy. If we press the P character, that P is for CPU, we will see the different processes that consume the highest CPU resources and in our case it is HTTPS daemon. Now the next step is to kill the process that causes you lots of issues. That is the last step before you reboot your 48 to, let's do a control C, to kill a process you use the diag sys, kill. Now you enter what is called a signal. That is a term that comes from Linux and Unix which is actually a polite way to ask your system to stop the process and it can be a more aggressive way to tell your system, it depends on the number, to tell your system to kill the process. Now, um, we can use different uh, signal numbers. We will use 15, which is uh, an aggressive way to tell your system kill that process and we will list the process ID. Now the process ID, as we know, is the second column. So let's use the DNS proxy uh, process, which is 94. All right, now we have just killed that process. And here we can see that the DNS proxy process has actually been terminated. 